All right, everybody, there's been a lot of discussion on the internet lately about whether or not these things really matter. Does the golf shaft really matter? Let me ask you guys a question out there. Anybody that has any shaft knowledge, can a shaft change the spin on your driver results? If you're sitting there answering yes, then you've already answered the question to the name of this video. Does the shaft really matter? If it can change your spin or any of the other conditions that you see on the launch monitor, then it matters. Now you have a lot of variables in a shaft. You have weight, which is one of the most important. You have the flex, and not only what the flex is, but where it does flex. Okay, you have torque. You have a lot of other variables that go into shaft design that can impact the end result. You have your own swing and you have your own pattern. You're not gonna go from your swing today and 30 seconds later look like Adam Scott. You're gonna pretty much look the same as your swing pattern is over and over and over. You deliver the club and the shaft differently at impact than I do. And he does, and she does. So the shaft reacts to that. Now, it is true that if you are in the middle of the bell curve, meaning you have a pretty standard swing in regards to how you load the shaft and unload the shaft, the shaft might not play as big of a role, but if you're at the poles and you load that shaft or you have a you know, 120 mile an hour swing, there are definitively shafts that are going to change the dynamics and the, ultimately the performance of how your club performs. There's no question. So today we're gonna to give you an example of just how much a shaft can actually make a difference in the performance of your club. We're gonna bring in Harry Nodwell here in a minute. He works at my golf spy, he's an all-American golfer. Don't really know how because when he first came in here, uh, he was given up about 30 or 40 yards because he didn't know what the hell was going on with his equipment. We quickly got him into a new shaft. As you can see, he had the Ping G400 driver, had the Alta stock shaft, Got him changed into a graphite design, AD, BB7. It's too many names, letters, and numbers for you to remember, but here's the two shafts. Uh, it's pretty remarkable to see this kind of change. This isn't typical, but he dropped about 700 spin. Let's go see this in action right now. Okay, so right now I'm about to hit some golf balls, and the only thing I'm changing is the shaft. I'm gonna get it set as 7.5 on my Ping LST. That's the only thing that's gonna change is the shaft. Okay, now we're gonna to switch to my shaft right now, which is the BB. Same loft, same lie, same everything. Just the shaft has changed. So take a look at the data. It's pretty compelling. This is an all-American golfer, 120 mile an hour swing. You can see 800 RPM spin change, 15 yards of carry. I'd take that any day and so would an all-American golfer for sure. So can the shaft matter? Hell yes. Our job is to help everybody reach their maximum potential with the driver. And this little thing right here is gonna definitely help you do that. It's not just the head, it's the shaft, and it's not just the Indian, it's the arrow too.